Le grand bac en Nord. We're not gonna miss the last gondola. We will make it. Oh, I think we went too fast. It's tough, man. It's oh. tough. Oh. Oh, it's so tough. Hi, I'm Lavi and this is Oli. Over the past four years, we have been on some epic adventures around the world. Now, after converting an old van into our new home on wheels, we are ready to hit the road and explore the wonders of Europe. Click the subscribe button to follow our journey and let the adventure begin. Look where we camped last night. <laughs> right in front of some crazy mountains and these aren't just any crazy mountains these are the French Alps and that just hidden by cloud at the very top is Mont Blanc good morning world welcome to our odyssey this morning we are in the town of Chamonix in France yes. and surrounding us are the beautiful snowy French Alps. Oh, they are so beautiful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we have two amazing adventures for today and the first is right there. That is a mountain called Aguil du Midi and it is 3,842 meters above sea level and we are going to the very top. But we aren't gonna hike. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's actually a cable car that takes you all the way to the top and from there apparently you have amazing views of Mont Blanc which is kind of just next to it mm -hmm. but another thousand meters even higher than that. Very impressive. At the moment we can actually see that there's a cloud coming in so let's hope the best. And after our ascent of Aguil de Midi we are going to come halfway back down the mountain and start an amazing hike called the Great North Balcony or the Grand Balcon Nord. And the Grand Balcon Nord will take us all the way across the mountain and face to face with a glacier over there somewhere. So at first we have to walk about half an hour, two k's, to the start of the cable car. And from there we're going to head up the mountain. <laughs> Up, up, up! <laughs> Okay, so there's been a slight change of plan. The top cable car station, Aguil du Midi, is closed today because of high winds and there's kind of a storm coming later and uh, so they're only allowing people up halfway. So we made a new plan. We're here at the Monteverde train station and we're gonna take a train to Mer de Glace where they have apparently an ice cave as well. This is what we're gonna check out and they have a glacier there. And from there you can still walk the Great North Balcony route that we were supposed to walk, uh, but you just walk it in reverse and then we're gonna take the cable car back down on the other side. Another day, another glacier. <laughs> <laughs> This glacier is called Mer de Glace, which means sea of ice. It looks like stones down at the bottom. It's quite gray, but it's actually ice underneath. And we can just see down there at the bottom, the entrance to the ice cave. So we have to take a cable car 
and that's going to take us down to the ice cave. Woo! Woo! Let's go and check it out! Grotte de Glace. Ice cave. Okay. <laughs> So it looks like the cable car doesn't actually take you all the way down to the ice cave. We've actually got about 500 steps down here. Face to face with another glacier, look at this. Oh my god, it's really long! It's so big inside here! Look at that! Whee! The Ice King and Queen! <laughs> This was magical. A different world. Seriously, a different world. Wow. So, we have started on the Grand Balcon Nord, the Great North Balcony. Look at this. High above Chamonix. The last cable car down from the other side is at 4.30 and it's two o'clock and they say that this trail takes two and a half hours. So it's like, we have to be exactly on time. Otherwise we'll miss it. And we have to hike a thousand meters down to the town. So we're gonna do this quite fast. We're gonna give it our best shot to get there before 4.30. It's crazy, crazy jobs. Back on Nord. <laughs> okay, we're doing pretty good. Oh. And <laughs> now we're trying a bit of trail running as well. We're about halfway and it's only taken us about 45 minutes. So they say that the first half should take about an hour and a quarter if the whole thing is about two and a half hours. So we're doing pretty good. So I think we don't have to walk down the mountain. I think we're gonna make the cable car. Still have a bit to go, about three more Ks. Amazing trail, really. I'm so impressed. Like, 
you see snowy mountains all around us oh, yeah. in a really nice shape and then on the other side you have like this big valley with this cute town and oh, it's so pretty and then on the other side of course you have more epic mountains <laughs> and it's just really mind-blowing this trail is i think so far my favorite trail it's so cool yeah. i mean we have been to the bosnian alps and montenegro slovenia austria switzerland but the french alps are pretty crazy and just like in austria and in switzerland we can also hear marmots here you can hear them calling from the hills they go choo 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 or like warning their team that evil humans are near but we're not out to get you guys little lovely marmots we just want to give you a big cuddle <laughs> we can see the cable car Woo! it's just up there Woo! a couple more k's to go it's nearly three o'clock so actually we have plenty of time now The weather is starting to come in. It's starting to rain a little bit, but we're getting closer to the finish. So as long as the rain is not too crazy, then we should be okay. Here, we're taking a detour from the main trail, which goes up that way, because we want to see Lac Bleu, or Blue Lake, which sits 800 meters up here. fast <laughs> okay so we have the 1k to go and 60 meters um, up it's tough man it's oh. tough oh. Oh. Oh, so tough here it is there we go <laughs> there it is was it worth the climb I don't know, I nearly died. Oh. Oh. Wow. What a great location for a lake though. Nice. And just up there is where we tried to go this morning, Aguil de Midi. There's the cable car station and with 55 minutes still until the last one. Ah. Now we can have a small rest before we take the cable car down and just look at the amazing views of Aguil du Midi and uh, Mont Blanc. <laughs> no, we can't see Mont Blanc, it's in the clouds. <laughs> Still, it's incredible, incredible views. Yeah. On our way down in the giant cable car. We're back at the car park. We're back with Red Tornado. And the sun is kind of coming out this, this afternoon. Nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
despite the change of plan it was still a really cool day we're just gonna stay here exactly where we are tonight <laughs> with this amazing view for the second night because this place is just too good there's no reason for us to move we are a little bit sad that we couldn't go to the top top but it's still a brilliant day and I really love the earth. so we actually bought the multi pass which would have gotten us all the way to the top and the multi-pass cost us around 50... 56 uh, euro if you order it and pay online. But we asked at the train station and they will actually give us a refund for the difference because we couldn't go all the way to the top. So in the end, to go up on the train on one side and down on the cable car on the other is only about 35 or something euro, which yes. is really, really reasonable mm -hmm. um, to get up there and have an amazing hike. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It's worth it, yeah. definitely. So we're just going to chill out here for the rest of the afternoon, but we really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We will see you next time. If you enjoyed watching this video, you would help us a lot by subscribing to the channel by clicking here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We will see you next time.